Okay, now we are live. Okay, good. <clears throat> okay, thanks everybody for joining me for lesson two. Okay, lesson two. So the last lesson we learned about base notes. Uh, I think it's pretty easy, right? I think most of I think from the assignment, I think it's quite easy for most of you. So um, we are going to talk about lesson two. Okay, uh, lesson two is where we actually take the same exercise we took it, we learned in lesson one, and now we are actually learning the actual chords. So if you want to go ahead and see the Dropbox link, open up this file that I'm bringing up, bringing up now, Lesson 2. Lesson 2. You can see, Lesson 2. Alright. This is the one, Lesson 2. Okay. Alright. So, uh, to begin with, uh, this is very familiar. You have uh, seen this before. It's just that there's some added things, like there's an M here. And there's an M here. M here and M here. A small M means uh, minor. Okay, so if, if you were to play this right, like what we did in the last lesson, it will be. It's very familiar. It's exactly the same thing, right? No trick. It's the same thing. But now, what we're going to learn is actually how do we play minor chords? Okay, we're only learning minor chords for now. Okay, minor chords. All these. Okay, so go ahead and uh, get this file, and I'm going to open it also, just in case you don't have it. Minor chords, which is coming up right now. Minor chords, here. Okay, you have minor chords. Okay, so um, how do you read this? I hope it's not very confusing. But anyway, how we are going to build chords, as I said from the very first lesson, is we build from the bass note, right? So if this uh, for example, this red note, if you ignore this green dot and this cross, what note is this? Anybody has any idea? Uh, I think you all muted your microphone, so I can't hear you. you uh, can you unmute your microphone? Uh, it's muted. Hey. Okay. Right. Yeah. can hear already. Okay, good. Okay, so okay, any so idea you know, what this what note is? A. Yes, yes a. a. So therefore, so this is... is a minor. A minor. Okay. okay, but that's not really that's the not really correct. correct uh, okay, here okay, a lot. Yeah, my headphones still not working. You're not working. Okay. I'm okay. trying to get it to work, but it's not working for now. Okay, uh, good. No more feedback, right? Okay, never mind. Uh, maybe if you want, you can type the answer in the chat box if there's any issue. Anyway, so this is A minor, as I was saying. But minor is not an accurate term because it contains a note not in minor. It's actually a minor seven, okay? The minor seven. But later, uh, I'm going to show you that you're not going to be too strict about this one, okay? So how do we play this? Basically, we have A, and then we cross. We do not touch this string, and then we press this two. That's in the same fret. So I'll demo it now. Um, why not getting any screen? Okay. Um, sorry. Uh, I think the screen disappeared. Okay. Anyway, uh, if you have that open, it was the fifth fret up here. Cross this one. This is crossed, and then these two frets. Okay. Okay. So you assign a finger each. So we have A and this note and this note. So these two, you use your index and middle fingers. And then for the A, you use your thumb. So three, and one more. Okay? Okay? Simple? Alright. So we have basically two types of minor shapes to learn. We have learned the first one. If the bass occurs on the E string, which is this guy, which I'm, this is the one that I'm shaking it now. This, you have to learn this shape. And then the next shape in the minor, showing you the screen again, minor chords, it's here, alright? So anybody have any idea what this note is? You can type in the chat box or anything. This note in red. Can you all see? D, good. Yes, correct. Sing Yang is correct. D. Therefore, this is D minor 7. Okay? Okay? Simple. So just to confirm how it looks like on um, the guitar, I'm going back to my screen again. So we have... Uh, earlier we have A minor 7, right? So now we have D minor, which is here. And you skip this string and then you play this too. So you, you play it this way. D minor 7. This is D minor 7. 
Okay, can? So once we got that down, we are ready for the first exercise. It should be uh, pretty easy. Okay, so I'll, I'll demo the first exercise for you. Let's take a look at the first exercise. Okay, the first exercise is basically let's find out where the minors happen. We have one at A minor, we have one at F sharp minor, we have one at E minor. Okay, so this A minor occurs on the E string, right? The F sharp minor occurs on the E string. The E minor is the only one that occurs on the A string. Okay, can? All right, so um, you, wanna, you do anybody ready? Are you ready for uh, a tr you wanna go through try run? I'll play. Uh, maybe I'll do a demonstration first before we begin. Okay, let's do at a uh, since we are quite familiar with this uh, chord progression. Let's go at seventy five. Okay, hope this is loud enough. Should be fine. It's loud enough. Okay, so uh, this exercise one demonstration in progress. Going now. One, two, three, four. Hold on, the, the screen is lost. Let me get it back again. Sorry. Uh, lesson two. Okay. Back again. All right. Let's try that again. One, two, three, four. So the new chord. And just play the normal bass note. No chord there. And we have G, normal bass note. The C. F sharp minor and then B and E minor is the hardest is a jump here okay all right so uh, I request uh, any any questions so far any difficulty it's okay right okay how, uh, let's mute our microphones we'll do this twice okay before we move on let's do this twice some strange reason my screen is getting lost again Alright, so uh, lesson two, um, exercise one, okay? First instance, we're going for the first instance. One, two, three, four. G. C. F sharp minor. And E minor is a special shape. Okay, let's go for a second round. Second round. One, two, three, four. A minor. And B. G. C. F sharp minor. B. And E minor. Okay, we are done. Anyone have any problems with this exercise? Is it difficult? So, some things there. Any? Everyone's okay? Jing Yang's okay? Yeah, good. Okay, good. Eh? Okay, it's not that hard. Eh? Okay, let's move on to exercise two. Okay, there's a lot of things to cover, so we're going a little bit faster. I was pretty slow the last lesson. So, exercise two. Now we introduce major chords. That means we retain the A minor and all that. A minor. Still there, F sharp minor still there, E minor still there. We added a G major 7 and a C major 7. Okay, I should have written minor 7, but it doesn't matter. We're just going to play 7s all the way, okay? I'll explain all those terms in a bit because I just I want to get playing quickly. Okay, so we have a nice uh, two chords because these, these exist on different strings. So let's take a look at how we play the major. We're going into the majors now. <coughs> majors, if you have the worksheet, you can look it up. If not, I'm going to load it up as well. Let's take a look. Okay, we have major. The first one we said was a G major, right? G major. Yeah. Okay, so G major occurs uh, on the E string. So it's this shape. But sorry, uh, I'm oh sorry, um, yeah, wrong window. Okay, it's this, is this one? Is this 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 is G G major? Uh, we will use this string, but this is of course not G major. We shift this shape here. Okay, so that means the red dot is here, the green dots are here. Okay, all right. So I think you understand the, the chart should be quite simple. So basically, um, I will go through uh, one shot. Then we have C major. C is here. C, the bass note occurs here, if you remember. So it's this, cross, and then green and green. Note the difference. This one, 
it's on the second relative to the base. This one is on the second and the third relative to the base. Okay, All right. Hope oh, it's not that confusing. So uh, what I'll do is, uh, if you have this chart open, I'll just demonstrate on the guitar again, just to confirm. Okay. So that is just a generic chart. Um, you just have to shift that shape around. Okay. So G major seven, G major seven, the third fret here. We skip this string and then we play two and two. So. Okay. G major seven. Okay. Okay. And C major seven is here. This is the is an is on the A A bass note and then we have a we skip this string and then it's two and three. Again the same fingers. Thumb index middle. Simple. Note, note the difference. G major seven, C major seven, G major seven, C major seven. Okay. Can any questions? Is it okay? Is it, it's okay, right? Yeah. All right. May I give you some time to practice? Let's try, try it out. Okay, how about we go for a, a run of uh, lesson two? We are going for lesson two, uh, no, sorry, uh, exercise two. Exercise two is coming up now. All right, exercise two, okay? So it occurs here G major seven is one, two, two. You remember the shape one, two, two, or one skip, two, two. C major seven will be one skip, two, three, okay? Which is on the A string, this one is on the E string, okay? So uh, let's uh, jump right in. Let's do it three times. Okay, demonstration is the first time. Or if you want to play along, you know, feel free. Okay, let's go along with exercise two, slightly harder. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four. A minor, D, G major seven. The new chord, C major seven. F sharp minor, B not learning yet. No E minor. Okay, hope it's not too difficult. Let's try a second pass. Second pass. One, two, three, go. A minor, D, G major seven. One, two, two. C major seven, one two three, F sharp minor, B, and E minor. Okay. Anybody has any problems? Any a lot of trouble? Yeah, I just need to look at it for a minute. Okay. Is it too fast? I could I could slow it down if you need. <coughs> No, it's alright. Just give me a minute to just uh, take a take a peek at it. I was uh, while you were talking most of the time. I was rearranging the window, so I just wanna. Oh. I, I'm just. I just need to catch up a second. That's all. <coughs> all right. Uh, just to answer Ting Yang's question, the the single bass notes. Although you're supposed to play, I mean, if it was a actual score, you should have read it as major. But for now, I just read it as a bass note because I, that's actually not a major chord. I, I'm actually jigsaw. I actually setting up a jigsaw puzzle and like taking out chords on purpose. Okay, so you just play that as a bass note for now. Then I'll add in the prefix later. Okay, we just add in just play the major seven and the minor sevens. I made a mistake. I should be a minor seven. But anyway, yeah, small small error. I'll get to it in a minute. Okay, I I think I slowed out the tempo a little bit to say. Uh, 65. I think it'll be better. 65, so you can really get all the chords in. Uh, don't we don't want to move on from here if you haven't mastered this. So try to master this well before we move on. Okay. All right. Let's go for another pass. Exercise two. Ready? One, two, three, four. A minor. The D. G major seven. C major seven, F sharp minor, B single note, 
and E minor all the way up on the seventh fret. All right, let's uh, go for another pass. One more pass, okay? Then I see if you have any problems. I'm here to help you. So you, you yeah, can you, yeah, just show your show your guitar so I can see I can see where your hands are so I can just follow it like that because I have the other windows on the side. Okay, good. All right then. Then um, I don't know about. now we have this demonstration Sorry. with my guitar. Yeah, yeah. Does my does my video look squashed on your side? It's okay. It's okay. Um, yeah, no worries. Let's try that again. And okay, it's good. Okay. All right. Okay. Now we have the same exercise with me. Okay. So just feel free to um, ask me. Ask me to demonstrate anything. I mean, that's that's what this uh, webcast thing is for. Okay. Let's begin again. Exercise two. One, two, three, four. A minus seven. D. G major seven. C major seven. F sharp minor, and then B, single note, and E minor, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, okay, alright, um, let's see, okay, uh, Kemin is here, so I just talked to Kemin a bit, Kemin, uh, we have just covered major and minor chords, uh, Dropbox link, I'm giving you the Dropbox link now, Dropbox link. So as, as a revision, we'll go through uh, also with Gamin. Gamin is picking up from where we left off. Okay, uh, just to recap, uh, and for the benefit of Gamin also, uh, we are actually learning major and minor shapes. Okay, just a recap. I'll just do a screen share. Gamin, if you got the Dropbox link, we have, we are learning major and minor chords for now. So minor chords is here. We've gone through this one already. Alright, if the bass note that you learn is on the E string, you apply this shape, which will be uh, the bass note skip and then two green on the same the same place. And then if it's on the A string, it's this shape. Okay. There are many other shapes, so just uh we'll just memorize this shape for now, and then we'll build other shapes from there. Okay? So that's minor, and now we are learning major, right? Major uh just covered uh so you're not very far behind. You can cover minor. You can also cover major, and you will be on track with us. So major chord, major chord will be this shape coming right up. So a major chord will be if it's on the E string, it will be this shape. Okay, three skip two two. Okay, oh sorry, one skip two two. If this this will be a A major seven or A major, this one will be a D, right? Because it's on, uh, this is a, this note is D, we learned it. This is a D major 7. You get used to these shapes, okay? So let's try try a few more times. Then any questions, I'll address it along the way, okay? All right, let's go for uh, lesson 2, okay? Lesson 2. Uh, let's see whether Kemin can follow. Kemin, if you have any questions, ask me. I think we need to practice here because this is not easy, okay? Exercise 2, coming up again, exercise 2. Okay, uh, for the benefit of gaming, the first round we are going to see exercise two uh, on my screen. Okay, then uh, we'll get ready. See if there's any questions. Okay, exercise two coming up. Exercise two again. This is not easy. Let's spend some time on it. Okay, comfortable speed of sixty-five. See whether gaming can follow. I'll do twice. Huh? One, two, three, four. A minor. It's on the E string, so we have that shape. And then D. No, we haven't learned this yet. G major 7. C major 7. F sharp minor. And then we have B. And E minor. 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3. One more pass. 1, 2, 3, 4. A minor, D, G major 7, C major 7, F sharp minor, B, just the bass note alone, and E minor, 7th fret. Okay, I hope everyone is uh, on track. 
Tian Min, how is it? Is it is it very difficult? Is it okay? Is it okay? Anyone has any major issues? We if we you need to, we can stay and practice again. Tian Min, okay? Don't know if you can hear me, Tian Min. <laughs> okay. Uh. All right. Uh. Let's do. Um. Anyway, let's just do twice, two more times. Uh. If you have issues, can mean this will be recorded so that you can see it later. Okay. If you have any issues, following. Okay. All right. One last time. Okay. With me. Okay. With me. Uh. In the display. Then we move on already. Okay. To exercise three. Exercise two begins again. Last time. Okay. Last time to practice exercise two. One, two, three, four. A minor. D, G major seven, C major seven, F sharp minor, and B, and E minor all the way up. Okay, good. All right. Uh, can we move on? Does anyone have any major problems? Let me help you. Don't don't be don't wait until it's too late. No, I can't help you. Okay. Oh, okay. Give me a thumbs up. It's okay. Okay. Jing Yang's okay. Whoops. Uh, don't see. Okay. Um, Joshua is okay. Kian Min, okay. Hi, Kian Min. Uh. Just checking if you can hear me. I don't know. Not responding. Hear me? Can hear me or not? Hmm. Okay. Never mind. Let's let's move on. Uh, okay. He'll respond to that question if there's any issues. Okay. Let's go on. Okay. Let's move on. Okay. We are going on to exercise three. Okay. Exercise three. Okay. Okay, you can unmute your microphones uh, uh, when I'm explaining, don't worry, because uh, you can interrupt me if necessary. I feel a bit like quiet, I can't hear anything. So just unmute your microphones for now. Okay. All right, um, look at this one, dominant seven, okay, dominant seven chords. Okay, so it's the same thing, just that uh, we added the D, D7 here and a B7. Okay, these are the two mystery notes that we were we're leaving out for a while. Okay. Uh, dominant seven uh, is a special shape, but I don't want to go into the theory. We'll leave it for another time, okay? Or when you study music a bit further, okay? But uh, basically, I'll talk about chords later. Okay, dominant seven. This is another shape. This is the third shape that is essential that you must learn. Okay, dominant seven. How do you play dominant seven? We only need to play one shape for dominant seven today because you realize D and D both occur on the A string, right? They both work on the A string, so we don't really need to learn the one on the E string. But I put it up anyway. We will learn that next week when we learn, we touch on blues. We're gonna play some blues, okay, next week. So uh, we are going into dominant seven. If you have the chart, take a look at it. It's in the Dropbox folder also. Dominant seven. My uh, anyway. Uh, by the way, there's more than one way to play all these chords. I'm just uh, fixing one way so that it's not confusing for everyone. Okay. Dominant seven. I said we are only playing um uh in the A. A, A bass notes, right? So you don't need to play this today, okay? This one is for the E, if the bass note happens to be on the E string, but all our bass notes where the dominant seven chords happen only on the A string. So this is the shape, a reverse triangle, okay? Reverse triangle, all right? Okay, so uh, imagine if it's B7, this red dot will have shifted here, B7, and then you press green here and green here, that's B7, okay? And also D7, this is a D7, right? This one's already D7, okay? Simple, okay? Uh, just to demonstrate and be clear, once again, I'll just show you. As I said earlier, it's a reverse triangle. So uh, take note that the base note is actually now behind the index. Usually, it's uh, the base note doing a sort of a bar, and then the other fingers are, are like after it. But now, the index is behind, so be careful, okay? Later, later we'll actually see a chord where it becomes a bit challenging because of this reason. But anyway, this is D7. Okay, fingers I use are 2, 1, and 3. Okay, middle, index, and ring. 
and B7 is here. Okay. This is D7, dog, D for dog, D7, and B7. Okay. Alright. So let's take a look at the lesson. Uh, exercise 3, I think. Where exercise 3. Alright, exercise 3. So uh, the D7 occurs here. Alright, which is on the fifth fret. The B7 is the same shape on the second fret. Okay. So now we have learned all the three uh, basic shapes. Okay, basic shapes. You can basically play any song with these three shapes. So let's practice exercise three. Okay, let's go slow. Take deep. Okay. All right, we are going to exercise three. I'll do a demonstration once. Then maybe I'll show the screen of me playing. Then you try to follow along with your worksheet. Okay. Exercise three begins now. One, two, three, four. A minor, D dominant seven, G major seven, C major seven, F sharp minor, B dominant seven. E minus seven. Okay, before I show you the screen, just to not be confused, right? A D seven with no prefix, no major or minor, is a dominant seven. Okay, it's a dominant seven. A D seven is not a major seven because if I were to write just D right with no seven, imagine the seven is gone, it will be a D major. Okay, it will be a D major. But the moment you write seven. Or any number with no prefix like a major or a minor, it is counted as a dominant seven. It's a totally different chord, okay? Dominant seven. So it's a uh, just be careful there, okay? You'll you'll bump into this problem uh, every once in a while, okay? So uh, sharing my screen, I'm going to do exercise three uh, on the guitar itself, on the guitar itself, so you can see me. Let's try that again. Slow speed of sixty. One. Sorry. Uh. Oh, Tinya, you asked me to repeat what I just said, right? Okay, can. No problem. Okay. Um. Go back to this screen. Okay. You realize D seven. Yes, D seven is not D major seven. This is not D major seven. This is D dominant seven. Different. Okay. Dominant seven and major seven are two different animals. Okay. Like C major seven is not C dominant seven. It's different. Okay. So the moment you have a number with no prefix, no major or no minor, it is a dominant seven. Okay. okay any any further questions? So far, is it okay? If you you can you can ask me questions. Uh, type anything, any misunderstanding, you can ask me. Okay. If no, then let's move on. Let's move on. Uh, I'm going to show you on the screen now, just to make sure you're playing it right. Okay. All the shapes are in already. Exercise three, playing it, and watch. Yeah. One. <coughs> Exercise three. One. Two, three, four, A minor, D dominant seven, G major seven, C major seven, F sharp minor, B dominant seven, and E minor all the way up. Okay, anyone has any uh, questions, uh, difficulties? Is it too difficult? Can you all play it already? Anyone, any problems so far? <clears throat> slower, a bit slower. It's difficult, I, I, I know it's difficult. So we, we just practice maybe two more times, okay? Two more times. Okay, try to get this right, okay? Then uh, it will be easier for you. This, is the, this lesson is not easy, it's a bit of a jump in learning curve, okay? So let's try again. We are at still at 60, okay? So maybe um, you have your worksheet open up and then uh, you have me in the video. Just check whether you are correct. Okay, let's do three more times, okay? One, two, three, four. A minor. D dominant seven three, reverse triangle. G major seven. C major seven. F sharp minor, 
D dominant 7 and E minor all the way up. Okay, let's do it a second time. Second time. One, two, three, four. A minor. D dominant seven. G major seven. C major seven. F sharp minor. B seven. E minus F. Okay, E minus seven is all the way up the seventh fret, so just be careful. Joshua, can you keep up? Is it okay? How how is it, Joshua? Can you keep up? Yeah, it's it's okay. I'm, I'm going out a little bit slow, but can you hear me? Do we, uh, yeah, it's, yeah, you're breaking up. It's kind of uh, distorted your voice. Okay, um, yeah, um, do you want to go slower? Uh, do you think we should go slower a little bit? Okay, maybe we go one more pass, uh, 50. We go at 50 just to make sure we get every single chord in. Then we move on, okay? Last time, this is very slow, okay? Very slow, 50. Okay, exercise three. Okay. Last try, exercise three at 50. One, two, three, four. A minor. D7. G major seven. C major seven. F sharp minor. B7 and E minor. Okay, Ken, good, everybody, okay. Ken, so far so good. So spend some time on it, practice, uh, look through again. All right, uh, we'll move on to exercise four then. Exercise four is actually pretty much the same, so we get a bit of practice time out of that. Okay, so this is exercise uh, four. So it's really sort of the same thing. We have A minor seven, D dominant seven. We have G major seven, and a G major seven again. And then we have an F sharp minor and B seven. This is the tricky part. Okay, this is where uh, I want to I want you to watch out. So uh, I will show you how you play this uh, on the guitar in a bit, okay? So we have E minor 7, okay? And then we have E flat dominant 7. It's kind of small, hopefully you can see. It's a dominant 7, it's not a minor or major 7. So E minor 7, the E dominant 7 shape, E flat dominant 7, not E, E, eh? E flat dominant 7. And then D minor 7, and then D flat dominant 7. Okay, once again, E minor 7, E flat dominant 7, D minor 7, and D flat dominant 7. Okay, this is not very easy, so I'll show it to you uh, just in case. Any issues? Okay, so uh, as I said, E minor 7, here, right? 7 fret, 1, 1, 2. Okay. And then we have E flat dominant 7, which is down, but I said the index was here, you have to shift. So now the middle finger becomes where you determine the bass note to be. It's E flat dominant 7, okay, again. So we got E minor 7, E flat dominant 7, and here is D minor 7. You realize it's kind of like in the same shape, you know. So this is the confusing part. E flat dominant seven, this is the one, and D minor seven, and then finally we shift down one to D flat dominant seven. Okay? So without me talking, it sounds like this. Okay, again.
Oh no, Kiamin just left. One well, hope is okay. Again, this is E minus 7, E flat dominant 7, D minus 7, and D flat dominant 7. Let's try playing this alone, okay? We isolate the last two bars, okay? 1, 2, 3, 4. E minus 7, E flat dominant 7, D minus 7, and D flat dominant 7. Okay? The tricky thing is twice, okay? Play twice and change, play twice and change. So this is like uh like you shoot up in difficulty. But uh let's just try it. It just helps us to be more familiar with the chord shapes. Again, one, two, three, four, E minus seven, E flat dominant seven, D minus seven, and D flat dominant seven. Again, three, four, E minus seven. E flat dominant seven, D minor seven, and D flat dominant seven. Okay. Anyone has any problems, questions regarding the chromatic? This called chromatic descent. E E flat D D flat. Let me invite Kiming back into the group, uh, just in case he wants to join. Okay. Uh, any questions so far? Any difficulty that you are facing? It's okay, right? I hope. Okay, uh, let's move on. Oh, okay, good, good, good. Okay, Ting Yang, you okay? Difficult? Try not to lead. We try. Game is hard. <laughs> okay. Well, we just keep going, okay? If we have issues, uh, just practice. So this lesson is a lot harder than the last lesson. The last lesson was just trying to ease you in. This one, this is where it's quite difficult. But if you master this, you can play any song, okay? That's my promise to you. You can play any song. Okay, let's go to exercise four. Exercise four without my face. Okay, we'll just try this together. Okay, so this is where it happens. E minus seven, E flat seven, D minus seven, D flat seven. I'm going at 50, okay, on purpose. 50, okay? Really slow, 50. One, two, three, four. A minor, D seven, G major seven, another G major seven, F sharp minor, B seven. So called dominant seven. Hard part is now E minor, E flat dominant seven, D minor seven, and D flat dominant seven. Let's try one more time. Let's try again. Wow, Ting Yang, can see your eyes. Uh, <laughs> uh, one more time. One more time uh, with the worksheet. Then we do two more times with my face, okay? With the worksheet, okay? Let's try again. One, two, Three, four, A minor. One, two, three, four. D dominant seven. G major seven. Again, G major seven. F sharp minor. B dominant seven. E minor seven, E flat dominant seven, D minor seven. Okay. All right. Uh, let's try uh looking at my face for this one. Okay, wait for Joshua to come back. How is Yang? Is it okay? Is it very difficult? Let's wait for the rest to come back before we. Just 
check whether they are on Facebook or anything, trying to contact me, just in case. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay, uh, his internet got dropped. Okay, he's back, he's back, he's back. Okay, um, alright, uh, Joshua, it's okay right now? Yeah, your video is kind of uh, slow for some reason. Oh, you got dropped, huh? Okay. Alright, let's try again. Uh, I think we really need more practice. We might uh, stop after this exercise because everyone's having quite a bit of difficulty. We hit a brick, uh, a brick wall here. Okay, exercise four. Okay, let's try exercise four again now with my face. Okay, with my face. Or oh, actually, more you're more interested in my hand, right? Not my face. All right, exercise four again. Okay, 50. One, two, three, four. A minor. D dominant seven, G major seven, G major seven again, F sharp minor, B dominant seven, D e minor, E flat dominant seven, D minor. D flat dominant seven. Sorry, my mistake there. Okay, uh, one more time. Okay, just one more time. One. Okay, how about I go a bit faster? Okay, if you can keep up. Sixty-five. Okay, sixty-five. I'm getting a bit tired of this speed. Sixty-five. Okay, at sixty-five. One, two, three, four. A minor. D dominant seven. G major seven. G major seven, F sharp minor, B dominant seven, E minor, E flat dominant seven, D minor, and D flat dominant seven. Okay, all right. Anybody has any problems, questions, uh, like a burning uh, difficulties, like too hard, too easy, anything? Okay, right, okay. Uh, how about I show you assignment or oh, anything, Joshua? It's okay? Doable, right? All good, okay, good. Uh, uh, I hope we can do assignment five. Assignment five, uh, I will not demand what I initially asked you, uh, what we, what asked you to do, but uh, let's take a look at assignment five. Let's uh, try, maybe go a bit longer to one hour because it's a bit difficult, this, this uh, lesson. Okay, this is assignment five. It's basically autumn leaves, the same uh same song with all the right chords filled in. Okay. Actually, assignment two is supposed to be played with a swing rhythm, okay? But I'm not asking you to do that. Okay. So basically, um your your homework right will be the same as uh, quite similar to assignment one. You use the same backing track, but now you play all the right chords. Okay? All the right chords. And if you can, um the tempo to beat, right? I didn't write it here. The tempo to beat is 150. I type it here now. 150 BPM. Okay, that's the tempo to beat. Okay, so you want to be able to do these chords at this speed. So you take take your time to to go fast. Okay. All right. Um, I will demo. Okay, fast. This is just a. Uh, I'm not not showing off any or anything. It's just uh to tell you how fast you need to go. Uh, eventually because it's it's very awkward to play jazz slow. Okay, so this way you have to work towards 150. Okay, 150. This is how it will sound like, 150, okay, 150, here we go, one, two, wow, scary, the speed is scary, so, one, two, three, four, C major 7, F sharp minor, B dominant 7, E minor, E minor, E dominant 7, G major 7, C major 7, F sharp minor, B dominant 7, and E. B section, 
P to minus 7, E minor, A minor, D dominant 7, G major, G major, F sharp minor, B dominant 7, ba, da, 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 C major 7, B dominant 7, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, okay? So, uh, that's the speed, uh, but I don't need you to submit at this speed, just submit at 80, okay? 80 is the original assignment, so just do it at 80 and I'm fine with it, and just work it up to 150, okay? That's how fast we need to go. Okay, any questions so far? No questions, huh? Okay, I think we will stop here for today because I think we had enough. Okay, uh, if you have any questions, you feel free to email me. Uh, I will email you the link to this video. Yes, Joshua, why? What's up, Joshua? Anything? No questions, okay, I thought uh, something serious. Okay, so... Um, we will end the lesson soon, but I uh, just want to give you a recap. Um, we learned major, minor, and dominant seven chords, and a preview to uh, what we will do the next lesson. I think we will just concentrate on that for lesson three. We'll just concentrate on uh, learning um, autumn leaves. I'm going to teach you the rhythm, because it's quite dumb to play uh, the same chord at the same rhythm, like crotchet. So this is... Uh, a swing rhythm that I'm going to teach you. I wanted to teach you today, but I don't think we have time. So we'll do that the next lesson. So the swing rhythm, here we go, swing rhythm. So um, I will explain all these, but uh, in a nutshell, after you go through uh, this, I'll explain this next week, you'll be able to play uh, this rhythm. For example, this rhythm goes... So... So how, how do you count this rhythm? I'll talk to you about that the next lesson. Okay? If no questions, uh, thank you all for joining the lesson. I know it's not easy, this lesson. So um, let's take your time to practice. Let's try, just try to do assignment 2, which is basically the same backing track as assignment 1. Okay? Same backing track as assignment 1. And record it. Okay? So just make it your aim to record a good one. And that will be already good practice. Okay? That's, your, that's the thing we're aiming for this week. Okay? So work harder this week and we'll... See you at the next broadcast. Right, see you. Bye. Oh, sorry. Um, Xin Yang, right? You asked where to get good online metronome. I give you a link now. Huh? Online metronome. Uh, this one I use this one personally. Okay. All right. This uh, metronomeonline.com. Go for that. All right. So any any question, just email me. Okay, feel free to email me. It's uh it's quite simple. Okay, just try to get over some misunderstandings. You should be fine. Okay, all right. Thank you all for your time today. Uh, we'll see you in lesson three, eh, which is next Thursday, eight p.m. All right. See you. Bye bye.